Okay, welcome to our first lesson on solving quadratic equations. Um, so first, what does it mean to solve an equation? So solving an equation means finding out what the variable is equal to. So in order to solve an equation, one, one strategy is to isolate the variable. So we want to isolate, in this case there's an x, so we want to isolate the x. Um, and what makes this a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation means that there's an exponent of 2, and that's your highest exponent. So here's an example of an equation, because it's an equal sign, and it's quadratic because the exponent is 2, and we want to isolate for x. So in order to isolate for x, in this case, uh, you want to remove the minus 25, so you just add 25 to both sides, you don't always write this plus 25, but so that these ones will cancel. So you have x squared equals 25. And in order to get x by itself, you're going to take the square root of both sides in order to undo that squared. So square root both sides. And the square root of 25. x is equal to 5. And we talked about this in class, but may have forgotten. There's one thing we have to add in this case. When I say x squared is equal to 25, a lot of people, you know, you're going to say, okay, so what squared is equal to 25? Obviously 5 squared is equal to 25. But is there any other answer? Is there another number which you could square to get equal to 25? And the answer is yes. That number is negative 5 squared. Because if you square a negative number, get a positive number. Um, and that always happens, right? If, if this is a positive number, then there's going to be two answers. There's going to be the positive number, and there's going to be the negative number. Um, so w when you solve an equation like this, you take the square root of both sides, you have to do the positive and the negative in order to get both those answers. So x is actually equal to two things x is equal to plus or minus 5. So what this means is x equals 5 or x equals minus 5. Both answers work. Right? And you can just check if you put 5 into this equation you would get 0. So that's, that's interesting to note that um, when you solve a quadratic equation you can get two answers. Okay. So just another example. Uh, x squared equals see, x squared equals 100, you can take the square root of both sides, remembering that we have to do positive and negative, so x would be equal to positive or negative square root of 100, which would be x equals uh, plus or minus 10, and you can just write it like this, it's understood that we mean plus or minus 10. So that says x equals 10, or x equals minus 10. You don't need to write this. You could just write this, and, and I would understand that it means both answers. Um, one thing that's interesting to note, too, is sometimes you get ones that don't work. So let's say something like x squared plus, I don't know, 2 equals 0. So in order to solve this, you try isolating for x squared first. So x squared, and you're going to subtract 2 from both sides. These would cancel. 0 minus 2 would be minus 2. So you have x squared equals negative 2. Well, if you try taking the square root of both sides, you have plus or minus the square root of negative 2. Well, what's the square root of negative 2? You can't do a square root of a negative number. Nothing times itself will ev ever give you a negative. No real number times itself will ever give you a negative number. Because a positive times a positive is a, is a positive, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So you can't multiply the same number to get a negative number. So therefore, this equation has no solution or has no, technically has no real solution, 
um, we're going to learn, or you might learn about another set of numbers where you can solve this equation, but for our purposes, this equation is not solvable. Or has no solution. Oops. So that's another interesting thing that happens with quadratic equations. Sometimes the equation has no solutions, right? We said sometimes it has two solutions. You get the positive and negative numbers, and sometimes it doesn't have any solutions.